Today I'm going to talk about the power of praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit means praying in tongues. That is what the Apostle Paul meant when he wrote about praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit is a tool. It is a key. It is a master key, in fact. It is the key that will open the um, doors to the other gifts of the Spirit in your life. It is a master key. It is a skeleton key, if you will. That one that will open every, every door. It is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And as I say, it is a very important gift because it opens the door to the other gifts of the Spirit um, and um, those gifts operating in your life. It is also a key to God's power. The Holy Spirit himself is not a spirit of fear, but power, love, and soundness of mind. Yes, and this is a key, a key to God's power. I myself, and I'm sure that you too may have been praying about something for a long time. Something where you've not seen an answer or maybe the completion of that which you are hoping um, and that which you desire. Without having seen that, um, you've nevertheless uh, been fervent and earnest in your prayer. But let me tell you, as you pray in the Spirit, you are praying God's mind. In fact, better than my <laughs> saying that, that is what God has to say. Yes, He does. He says in Romans 8, 26 through 28 that when we pray in the Spirit or in tongues, we are praying God's mind and His thoughts, praise God, are higher than our thoughts and His ways are higher than our ways. So, this is a key to tapping in to God's power. God, being omniscient, knows all things. He knows everything about you. He knows everything about me. And yes, there are many things that you don't even know about yourself. That's certainly the case with me. I recognize that. But God knows every single thing. He is the one who has formed us. He's the one who has made us. He knows everything there is about us. So when we pray in tongues, then we're able to tap into those things through the, the language of the Holy Spirit, we're able to pray the mind of God, tap into His wisdom, and we can even be praying God's solution to something that we don't even realize is something um, that needs to be solved. Oh, hallelujah, and praise God for that. Isn't that a wonderful thought? 
that you can pray the answer to something, that it come into being, something uh, that you may not even realize is um, necessary to be dealt with. Ha! Huh, praise God! I tell you, this is a wonderful thing. Praying in tongues is like priming the pump. You prime a pump to, to get the water going. And uh, it's exactly the same way. Praying in the Spirit is, um, is, is tapping in to God's power supply to get it flowing in your life. I refer to Romans 8, 26 and 28. And uh, these are scriptures concerning praying in the Spirit or praying in tongues. And again, uh, it, it gives the scriptural proof that in so doing, you're praying the mind of God. You're praying beyond your understanding. You're praying God's mind, His will, His plan, and His purpose. Yes, indeed. God is all wisdom. He is all power and all knowledge. Through Jesus and his work done on the cross, God has already defeated Satan through praying in the Spirit or praying in tongues. He can show us how to defeat the devil. Praise God. Now, let's pray. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. I thank you for the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Use me now. And I would ask that you give me your wisdom, your knowledge, and your ability to pray in the Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. And I exhort you now to speak out syllables, even though you may not understand them. Aha le 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 hila, abakaha le 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 hida. As you do this, the Lord will give you more, and He'll give you in time understanding.